Skyhawks, Mrs. Betia. I'm on the search for the ever elusive Loof Lurpa bird. It's somewhere around here. It migrates over Sacagawea only one day a year on April 1st, and I am looking to find it. I am going to find that bird, that special bird that flies backwards, I've heard. So be on the lookout for Every year, we have been looking for the Loof Lurpa. It's supposed to come around in April. And so Mrs. Underlin and I have come out to the playground because April starts this week and we're hoping that we'll be able to find this Loof Lurpa. I think I've heard it before. And it has a special song and it goes. And I, and I have some carrots. And if I keep whistling and singing, I think we might find it this year, Mrs. Dini. We might. I have some broccoli because I've heard that it likes vegetables. I also have heard that it likes it when you sing its name. So I'm going to go look for the Loof Lurpa. Loof Lurpa! Loof Lurpa! Loof Lurpa! Loof Lurpa! I got a carrot for you! Loof Lurpa! I saw the loop outside the window. All right, Bernard, the Eagles and Birds of Prey book says that the Sacagawea loop lurper shows up every year on April 1st as it migrates north and that it likes to eat small rodents and puppets. <laughs> what? Today's April 1st. Yeah. I gotta get out of here. I think I saw the loop out in the parking lot. I have set an elaborate trap for the Loof Lurpa. Now, I've never seen it in my 10 years at Sacagawea, but this year, I'm gonna catch one. I've caught you! I've been hunting and gathering feathers for the Loof Lurpa for many years, practicing its call. And here today I've gathered my feather collection in hopes that I can draw it near. Here, Lurf Lupa, come get these yummy snacks. You can't resist candy, can you? Bit of honey. Look, it's a nest. Ooh, a nest for you, little Loof Lurpa. And now we wait. Oh. Well, the Loof Lurpa has a distinctive call, not the name, but it has a distinctive call. It goes, Owa, Tagu, Siam. I'll say it again. Owa, Tagu, Siam. And so you know that that bird is here when you hear that song. Every year after the beginning of spring, the Easter Bunny searches for the Sacagawea Loof Lurpa. These two species are interdependent on one another, just as the surgeon fish and sea turtles, or the starlings and red deer. Easter bunnies will always find their Easter eggs by searching a Loof Lurpa's nest. I'm really concerned about this Loof Lurpa that's missing and the emotional well-being of this bird really is the most important thing. The Loof Lurpa? Oh yeah, I've been tracking that bird for 18 years here at Sacagawea. You know, one year I was out filming, I thought I had it on camera, but it turned out to be something else. Mr. Bond here in pursuit of the Loof Lurpa. This year it's going to be tricky. With the new construction at Sacagawea, it's had to move its nest. 
and it's been over two years since it was last spotted due to COVID-19. I'm predicting that nest is somewhere in the vicinity of our playground, somewhere out here. Anybody finds that nest during recess, come to my office and get a prize. I need to know where that nest is and I need to find that bird. Skyhawks, see if you can find the ever elusive special Luf Lupa backwards flying bird. Today, it must be around here somewhere.